so I need a hundred subscribers it's free you don't have to pay for anything if you have a YouTube account that's free um, for everybody all you have to do is find the intoxicating tastings underscore no stress zone channel or find any one of our videos and subscribe to that um, that we've done on YouTube so far and that will really help make this process a lot easier and easier for everybody to find us all the time okay um, because that way it'll be publicly shared as opposed to just my Facebook friends at this time okay so if you could do that I would greatly greatly appreciate it subscribe 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 and Lil Lulu Chronicles is asking if you can subscribe to hers too okay but I really need a um, hundred subscribers to be able to do that so this evening I originally was only only going to do a review on the Estancia Pinot Noir um, you can see that but since I made you all wait I decided that I would do two um, and give you a little treat so I asked that if anybody had an opportunity to pick this up um, that would be great because then we could do kind of like a virtual tasting that would be phenomenal the other one that we're going to compare it to is a Bordeaux so this is a different type of red wine and I just kind of wanted to give you guys two different ones that you could try for a change okay so when you're tasting wines I realized that I haven't really you know once again I'm not a sommelier I'm not a professional wine um, certified wine sommelier or anything of that nature I'm just a regular person like you all at this point tasting wines okay um, and just giving you my honest opinion and basically what I taste so when you do normally do wine tastings there's um, different things that you look for you look for the flavors the aromas you look for the texture and the weight and you're also looking for just the taste and the finish of um, these different wines but when it's all said and done, what you're looking for when you spend your money on a bottle of wine is how it tastes in your palate. So it depends on if you like fruitier wines or not, fruit forward. Most red wines are not going to be sweet. Red wines tend to be dry. There are sweet red wines. Um, and I could do, you got jam jar, um, there's some Hungarian wines. Of course, Sangria is always a, well, not sweet, sweet, but you can find some that taste sugar down and you can find some that are a little less sugar but they're you know a sweeter red wine there are different red wines that are sweet but neither of these will be sweet okay these are nice wines that you can have with dinner um or just come home and have a nice glass of red wine and not feel so you know guilty about all the sugar content in it now these wines are not expensive red wines you could get red wines that cost hundreds and thousands of dollars um, but for the sake of us, I chose wines that are within the $10 to $15 range, okay? So for the Estancia, this is actually a, a, a bottle that I picked up at Benny's a couple weeks ago. As you see, I've been drinking out of it already, and I really enjoy it, so I thought I'd share with you. Um, it's normally a $10.99 bottle. However, I got this because I have a Benny's card for $8.99, so great deal. Um, and the Somali, if when you go to Benny's, they actually have sommeliers there. So what I normally tell them is, I like wine, because I'm not an expert, that is not sweet, but not too dry. I don't want anything that's just going to sit in the back of my throat and taste like I've been sucking on a piece of chalk or something I don't like those okay so this one is not that and neither is this okay um, the Estancia let's start with that um, red wine first of all let's start with cups this is a big wine glass by the way Barbara Hicks makes glasses um, this is her glass that she left here I'm not going to use it today but I just wanted to show you this is these are different sizes this is huge this is medium and this is about the same as this one but it's called a stemless wine glass now the difference between these and stem, between a stem and a non stem or a stemless is when you're drinking white wines you want a stem and the reason why is because your hands catch 
carry natural body heat and you don't want to warm up your wine holding it in the stimulus. You want to keep your wine chilled long as possible because some when wines are meant to be chilled, you want to keep them that way. This one is more so for white. This one is okay for red. And another reason that this is a good red wine glass is because it narrows at the top, which gives you um, good aroma and flavor when using your red wine. So, and also keeps the wine in the glass. <laughs> so, um, I asked every, told everybody that they would need a fidget spinner. This is the adult fidget spinner. When I come home after a busy day, I want this to open this, okay? So this one is already open. Once I can show you how to open this one. What you really should do is cut the foil. And there are some people that actually don't know how to do this. So I'm... Adult fidget spinners can open wide. Open stuff. The fidget spinner is very sharp. Very sharp. Very sharp. I don't sharp. know why Miss Lulu Chronicles is in my video today, but this is what happens in Lulu's world. So I should sure. please sit down and read your book. Thank you. All right. Never a dull moment. So really there are knives that do this, but I just didn't want to leave the camera for you all. So I cut a piece and I'm just pulling the foil. This is nothing but foil. Okay, pulling the foil back. And you want to take that foil off because if you are ever around somebody who is a true wine drinker and you leave the foil on and say, well, that foil is going to mess up the taste of my wine. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So, there are other wine openers, however. Sorry, I don't know, you don't want to see that. However, this is my favorite. The reason being is because it's very simple to do, okay? As opposed to the ones where you twist, 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 and then you have to manually pull, or the ones where you twist, and then you have to put the metal piece there and then manually pull. This is simple. You make sure this is pulled up. You don't want that sticking out. So you make sure this is pulled up, and you sit it on the top. And then you just twist this part up here. And you want to let the arms, I want you to see the bottom of the arms go. And they lift up. And when they're all the way to the top, then it means that it's time to just pull them down and pop that open. Voila, simple, okay? No manual labor there for those for these so the idea is you kind of you want to let your red wine breathe uh, and when they say that that means you want to give it time to air out and let out you know the aromas and make a, you know so that the flavors can you can really taste the flavors okay this one I've already opened so we're gonna start with the Estancia and since I'm doing red wine, this stimulus glass is fine, okay? So I'm going to use that. I'm going to pour a little bit. This is just a taste. That's bigger than a taste. And you're going to swirl it around a little bit. Smell it. Oh, it smells like, like cherries. So we're going to taste. And it doesn't have that thick... A uh, dry taste that's like a Merlot or a Malbec. It's actually quite fruity. You can actually taste the fruit. Um, the way wine maker, maker describes it as black cherries and raspberries with a touch of um, baking spices. So to me, I definitely taste the fruit for it in this red wine, um, which is a wonderful thing. And it's not heavy. I don't feel like um, it's just sitting there. Even though they say that if you still taste the wine, then that's a good bottle of wine. I still taste the fruit, but I don't feel like my tongue is dry. That's literally how I feel when red wine is dry. 
so I don't feel like that. So this estancia is a is great paired with chicken, steak, grilled salmon. Um, what else? They they say on the back of here they tell you uh, glazed ham, and then also for my vegetarians, asparagus. It will pair well with asparagus also. So this is something that um, is a eight ninety nine find estancia. It's actually made in Monterey County, which is California, which I'm surprised that I enjoy because I normally only like imported, but I really do enjoy this one. So it's a good a good find for not too much money um, and goes great with a lot of different things. As far as the Bordeaux, this is the first time that I'm trying this. This is a, a recommendation from the sommelier at Benny's and he told me if I would like those, then I would like this. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in this glass. And I'm going to swirl it around and I'm going to smell it. And this one I smell less fruity. It's not as fruity as the Pinot Noir, okay? This one actually is less fruity and actually a lot deeper in color and has a much, much more legs. So it's sitting up here much thicker. And even though it's, this is not considered a very heavy-bodied wine, obviously it's it's thicker than the Pinot Noir. And you can definitely taste the difference also. So this one is not fruit forward, okay? Um, this one, the winemaker states that it's black cherries, raisins, and figs, which in my mind would be a little bit sweeter, um, unfortunately. Um, it is it is not sweeter for me um, and that's okay because a lot of people don't look for sweet when drinking red wines so this actually would be perfect for them okay um, it has it definitely lingers on the tongue it definitely it's not an overpowering taste but just it's not as fruity as the Pinot Noir so let I have Marina who asked does thicker mean better Everybody's palate is different, okay? Um, for me, better means good alcohol content and something that I en enjoy. Everybody, you have to like your wine. I don't want to just buy it just because somebody says, oh, it's rated a 93 point wine and you need this, or 94, you know, and you, you should drink that because all the wine sayers, you have to like it. Um, so if you like a fruitier wine, then stick with the fruitier. If it was me and I had to choose which one I would want, the Pinot Noir is the winner out of this, which is surprising because this is made in California and this one's made in France. And normally I am a big fan, a big fan of uh, in international wines, but the one from California is the winner for me today. Now, what would be great, both of these bottles are only $10 a piece. Oh. Pinot Noir, 13.8% alcohol, probably why I like it too. The Bordeaux is only 13% alcohol. What I would love is for you all to go out and do your own tasting. You get both of these bottles at Benny's. I've seen Estancia actually in quite a few, um, what am I trying to say, liquor stores. This, the Estancia I've seen in quite a few. The imported wines you normally have to find um, in specified stores. But to go out and try it yourself. I will leave um, information on the Intoxicating Tastings page about the wine so that you guys can find it. Um, and also the other beautiful thing about Benny's is they deliver also. I forgot to mention that before. But um, for me, the winner definitely is the Pinot Noir. But I'd like to know your take because once again, I'm just an ordinary girl in this ordinary world trying to enjoy some nice wine and share it with the world. So, hope you enjoy. Salute.